This is Dr. Caudill Miller, Dr. Miller's guide at neurology, and we are going to talk about the drug Cymbalta. When Cymbalta first came out, I thought there were going to be so many follow Cymbalta because it's the first one that increases serotonin and norepinephrine fairly equally. You know, and the theory is that maybe serotonin is more involved in depression, norepinephrine is more involved in pain, but there's some overlap. But to do them equally, you know, we really thought that there was going to be so many drugs like this, and I think there still will be. So it's a serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor. It's one of those drugs that once again you want to start at a very low dose for headache. We use it a lot for mixed headaches, tension headache, and migraine headaches. Start at 30 milligrams at bedtime for a month and just be patient. You know, it will take two or three weeks to kick in and then go to 60 milligrams. 60 milligrams doesn't work. It's liable not to work, but we have gone to 90 milligrams, rare patients at 120. The main side effect by far is nausea. So you must take it with food. So some of the others you don't need to take with food, but take it with food. Don't see as much constipation. You know, dizziness is a side effect with all of them. Don't see that a whole lot. You know, Cymbalta is one of those ones that you have to think about serotonin syndrome. It's very, very rare, but seen with all the antidepressants. We can't really measure serotonin nor epinephrine, but if people start getting excessively anxious, maybe excessive sweating, tremor, anxiety, you just need to stop it because um, it's one of the drugs that you can see, ser you know, serotonin syndrome. It'd really be nice if we could, you know, do a spinal fluid evaluation, measure people's serotonin and norepinephrine levels reliably, uh, but we can't do that. So my theory is these people have normal or high serotonin and norepinephrine and SSRIs, drugs like Cymbalta, effects or Wellbutrin, push them into serotonin overload, but it will start with just being sort of anxious, shaking a little bit, sweating, you just need to stop it, and it will go away. Severe serotonin syndrome is very rare. So that's Cymbalta. Comment, like, you know, um, subscribe to my channel, and we'll move on to more videos on headache.